Congratulations on winning two gold medals here in Hangzhou in the 4 by 100 meter relay. China led the race from start to finish. Did you expect that result before the race? Yes, I actually expected to win when I stepped on the track. I remember telling Yuan Qixi that we might have already won when the baton passed on to you. My job is to take the baton and run to the finish line, and we would win the gold medal and finish our job here perfectly. You only got one shot in the 4x100 relay. There are no preliminaries, so all of us have to give our 100% performance. I had two plans before the race. If when I got the baton and we were in the first place, then I go steadily. If not, then I will prepare myself to speed up at the very beginning and make the connecting area a bit bigger so that I can have more space to speed up. You missed the gold medal in Jakarta 2018. How does it feel to win it back? I'm really happy because we want to remedy that. We were all very disappointed when we lost in Jakarta. This time racing at home, we made sure that we will win the gold medal. This has been our goal since that loss. You thanked teammate Wei Yong Li after the race. Is she like an older sister to you? Wei, my big sister, is our leading character in the team. Only when she is here can we be certain that we will win. She has been suffering from injuries over the years, and we all know her difficulties. But she stayed and pushed herself and persisted in training every day. She has been our model, always. This year, I have been injured a number of times, and she took my place to run in the second spot. Actually, the second one was a tough spot and had to go through more training. So I think for her, it's also a sort of pressure that she shouldered for me. She also had injuries, but still, she took that responsibility for me. And that must have affected her individual race a bit. So I really want to thank her for being so selfless, and we are all working hard for the same goal. In the individual 100 meters, you won the race, and then you hugged away for a long time and became quite emotional. What was on your mind then? At that moment, I was just releasing that pressure from this year. It's a response to my late coach. I have fulfilled that promise to him. At that moment, I was at ease, because it's been such a difficult year, physically and mentally. I thought it was the end of my career. I doubted myself every night, thinking if it was the end. But when I thought about a promise that I had with my coach, and him being the one who had always trusted me, I would rise up again as we've been to the bottom, and we climbed back up. So that's what kept me going till now. 100 meters hurdles champion Lin Yuwei told me that you two have fulfilled your pact with your late coach. Both of us have been encouraging each other because we really want to pass on the spirit we learned from our coach and realize his dream. Our assistant coach, who used to be our teammate as well, is now taking on the job as our coach. He had the responsibility of both of us, so he's been shouldering a lot. We both knew that. He is now very proud of us, and I know our coach must be very proud too. People say that your hairstyle this time is like China's cartoon character Ne Jia, and like that character, you walked on Hot Wheels and won two races. So what do you make of that comment? That's a positive image. It's good energy. Ne Jia has a line which goes, my fate is mine, not the others. I think that's what I went through this year. I did went through a lot, but I will never give up, and I always believe in myself. Would you tell us your plan for the Paris Olympics? My time is still not quite there. I had a personal best time, but I'm not qualified yet. The line is 11.07 seconds. It's still a reach for me. But I can have such a good result under these circumstances. And this led me to believe that if I train well during the winter period, I will be able to hit that time soon. I was in the semifinals in Tokyo. I hope I can progress to the final in Paris.